Hey guys, Zach here from Kubota Lynchburg, and today we're going to talk about the Kubota GR series. The GR series is Kubota's high end riding lawnmower. Uh, sometimes called a lawn tractor, but it's a lawn mower, riding mower that Kubota produces. They produce the T-Series, which is your standard riding lawn mower, and then this GR right here. And not a lot of people know about the GR. It's not as popular as a standard riding mower due to the price point on it, um, but it is a all-wheel drive lawn mower. So that's what one of the features is very important about the GR is that it's an all-wheel drive. So it's all-wheel all the time. You can't choose, you can't select between it. But what that means is it's great for those hills and those slopes. If it's wet outside and a two-wheel drive mower is slipping and sliding, this thing will climb those hills, those slopes, whether it's dry or wet, they'll be able to handle all sorts of different uh, things that are thrown at it. Um, probably one of the best features on the GR series is going to be what's called the glide steer. Um, so it says it on the hood, uh, on the side of the hood, um, on this side it says glide steer technology. Um, but what the glide steer is, is the way that it turns. So I'm going to start the machine up real quick because it has power steering. And when I turn this, you can see how that pivot piece moves in the slot. And you can see how tight those tires will actually turn. So you can turn this, and we'll show you guys physically in a minute, like around a telephone pole in a very, very tight turn radius. And because it's so smooth and easy, it doesn't actually tear up your grass like a normal all-wheel drive or four-wheel drive mower will. So this glide steer technology lets you drive in tighter areas with a smoother, easier operation and with less damage to your turf, all in an all-wheel drive setting. Now the GR series can come in the 2120 or the 2020. The 2120 is the diesel model. So it's a Kubota three-cylinder diesel engine. So if you look underneath the hood here, you can see this little Kubota diesel engine on it. It's a 17 horsepower engine, which produces a really good amount of torque to it. Um, you can get the gas model, which is about a 20, 21 horsepower gas model, but that only comes with a 48 inch deck compared to this comes with a 54 inch mower deck. Um, you got your radiator and everything like this. It's a very high end machine, high end, high end riding mower, which is why they're over $10,000 right now. Um, so expensive, but if you have those hills and slopes, you can justify it. Um, another nice thing about this GR is the fact that it is all shaft driven. There's no belt coming from the engine to the transmission to the mower deck. It's all shaft driven, which means more direct transmission of power. So you have better cutting, you can cut through thicker material, and you don't have to worry about uh, belt slippage or wearing and breaking the belts and having to get all the way up in there and changing them out. You might have to just grease the drive shaft every once in a while. Um, you have a couple little nice features on it, like you do have an adjustable suspension seat. You know, slide forward and reverse. Um, basically, it's just a tiny little spring underneath the seat here. So it's not nothing fancy, but there's a little spring underneath here um, that you adjust to give a little bit more pressure when you're sitting on it. Um, one of the nicer features is this, which is hydraulic raise and lower to the mower deck. So I'll start it up again. You can see the mower deck hydraulically lowers and also hydraulic raises. So there's no real need for any pressure or foot levers or anything. You can control it on the move or when you're done all by this little hydraulic lever there. Um, and the only other real nice thing on it, if you have a lot of property, is it does have cruise control. Not many people use it, but cruise control is standard on this machine. Um, good solid, you know, metal deck. This isn't a just a, a regular stamped metal deck. While it is stamped, it is definitely thicker steel than most mower decks are. So you can hit something and not have to worry about it as much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop on it. I'm going to take this thing for a quick spin and show you guys the actual turn radius of it. So it's very smooth and easy. Again, power steering means I can steer with one finger. It doesn't really matter. But what we're going to do is we're basically going to show the turn radius. What we'll do is if, Leah, you want to stand right here and kind of watch this edge, you will see how close I can get to this edge. I'm going to run you over, basically. I could basically go around a large telephone pole and touch the edges at all times because of how tight this turn radius is. So I'm turning all the way back around. 
we're about to hit you again. So that's one of the nicer things on this all-wheel drive diesel GR is that. Then of course you raise and lower, you've got your diesel engine so it's good fuel economy, all sorts of nice features on it. So that's the Kubota GR series, gas or diesel. It's got the glide steer technology, it's an all-wheel drive. It is high-end but it's built with Kubota quality which means it's going to last a long time. It's going to last a decade or more easily. Um, very issue-free machine.